Hi guys, Ethereal Awakening here doing individual zodiac sign readings. This one is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Check your North Node. And um, I want to thank everybody who's newly subscribing, uh, existing subscribers, returning subscribers. Thank you so much. I just want to extend my appreciation and hope that I am extending it to the degree in which I feel it from you. I do appreciate it. Thank you. And without further ado, Spirit, what messages do we have for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Libra. Spirit, what messages do we have for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Libra. All right, that feels good. And let's begin. First two cards are current energy. We got the Nine of Swords along with the World. Trying to close out a cycle of mental restriction. Six of swords in the heart space. Two of swords. That's eight. Yeah, this is that. That's eight swords, and then you can take it with the other, the nine swords back to one sword. The truth. So this is very much. This is a Libra that's all up in their head. Imagine that. Four of swords and the possible outcome. Jeez, leaves. Can you can you come outside? King of swords and the possible outcome. Dang. <laughs> Have you been thinking about some things lately, Libra? <laughs> You've been thinking about some things. <laughs> you got the ten of rods and your underlying energy or what you might not be aware of with the devil and the ten of pentacles. So Let's just say there's been some compulsive behavior that's keeping you from manifesting your dreams and your wishes and your wants and everything that God wants for you too. You know, these burdens that you're carrying around are probably leading you to do some things that you're not very proud of compulsively, addictively. It could be thinking too much. Ha! That's an understatement. Because let's see. There's nine, and then we got eight, and then we could go back to one, and then we would add the four, and that puts us at the five. So, just from our swords, just the sword story, the king is at the end. The king is the very last possible outcome, and the king comes along with rest and reprieve and reflection, you know, where he's looking squarely at that, knowing, and this is a possible outcome. Now, when we look in the heart space, your heart knows that your head is tired. Your heart wants you to stop thinking so much. But there's this block, like every time you, you it seems like every time you get, okay, I'm just gonna let this all go. Like you're laying in bed and boom. Back into that thought, thought process, that cycle. I mean, the world card's here with this nine of swords. God is really trying to get you to come out of your thoughts. Because your thoughts are driving you crazy. And leading you to do impulsive, compulsive, and addictive things. Whatever those are. It does not have to be drugs and alcohol. Com our phones, you know, be on the computer too much. Working too much, money, shopping, sex. I mean, there's a number of things. Anything. Anything in the world. You know. This is codependency. It's when you need fulfillment from something outside of yourself. Sitting alone and being completely happy. Recognizing that there's really nothing to fear. If you're not in that Zen state... There's something outside of you that you're trying to grip. Could be religion. Could be compulsively, you know, indulging into the church lady land. <laughs> it could be anything. It's it, This is learning that you are completely whole and happy and your birthright to be whole and happy. Just from, the, just from being born, you were given the right to be happy. And anybody that's gotten that way since cresting out of childhood is you. And it's, it, there's not to say that, you know, 
there weren't things that helped put you there. But as an adult, we need to look back and we go, okay, now if I were being more like Christ instead of worshiping, emulate Christ, don't worship him. And this is these two energies here with, I'm taking this one out. <laughs> these two energies here are being burdened by the compulsive, addictive things that we're doing, whatever those are. And they're standing in the way of all your dreams and wishes and wants and desires. Because you want this cycle to end. And so does God. God wants it to be over for you too. You have this, this nudging, this knowing that's going on. And you're getting in your own way. You're ready. You'll take the step and then in bed that night. I, my suggestion is to meditate, Lee. Because that's kind of what this Four of Swords in the outcome is that's kind of like that meditative state where we start seeing things not for the reality of what they well, yes for the reality of what they are but the deeper reality of what they are there's another level to this there's lots of levels to this and that's what meditation and breast and reprieve and reflection can do when you're really just looking at it from the level of you know how do i do this for myself so I'm not dependent on anything. I want this Zen state for myself. I want to be able to look at life and there's no big deals. Well, it comes from, for, you know, stopping the compulsive behaviors that you're doing and then reflecting on why you're doing them so that you can take that lesson and magnify that into your Ten of Pentacles. I'm going to pull an advice card from the Alex Gray's Chapel of the Sacred Mirrors deck. Spirit, what advice do we have for Libra? Spirit, what advice do we have for Libra? One more time. Spirit, what advice do we have for Libra? Just had this one for Virgo. Spiritual world. Oh, no, we didn't. Spirit, we had spiritual, spiritual energy. Sorry. This is the spiritual world card. And you can't really see the lattice, but it's called Spiritual World by Alex Gray. If you Google it, you could see the artwork a lot more in detail. Completion of the great work yields the universal medicine, the philosopher's gold. The philosopher's gold. That's the epiphanies are philosopher's gold. Radiant reflection of soul or heart recognizes its unity with the source of all light. God carved in the sun of our essence surrounding us. Our world primordially sacred. Reflection on unity. Well, how do we get that unified sense, you know, that connectedness, that oneness that people talk about in that Zen state? Though anyone who feels the connected, connectedness outside of them, the oneness outside of themselves, has gone on and into themselves. And they've learned the compassion the self-appreciation, the love, the honor, and that humbling awe of what that birthright really means. And those are the levels of rest, reprieve, and reflection in this King of Swords with this Four of Swords in your outcome is asking of you. It's, it's You'll take that step forward and then you go right back. I'm going to say, please, um, find some time to do whatever kind of meditation suits and feels best to you whether it's listening to um if it's listening to abraham hicks uh lectures or alan watts lectures or, or um you know any of the gurus lectures that you know that can be a form of meditation if you're just focusing on the words breathing and having mindfulness it's bringing you to that spot and you can go even further i had to start very superficially with the meditation before I could really set the intention and really get it done, but it saved my life. So I hope this is helpful, Libra. Next time.